a 3D look at the sisters' dollhouse so far. I'm going to do a little commentary while you take a look around. First, I have to close the sky here. I wrapped paper all the way around the dollhouse to kind of give it the look that it's like in its own little world. Um, we decided to put the 3D camera in the middle of the dollhouse so you can kind of see the living room, the kitchen, the TV area, and a little portion of the backyard. You can even see the stairs if you look over off into the corner. And that is the Darby Show playing on the TV that we did in the doll TV room. I love that we were able to give them a real working TV by using our cell phone. It was just like, you know, for the longest time I was using their TV. I'm sorry, I was using my cell phone as their TV, but I would just prop it up on like a counter or something. And I was like, there's gotta be a way that we can uh, hang it on a wall so that they could have a hanging TV, you know, a flat screen TV, and I can still have my cell phone. So that's when we came up with the idea to use Velcro to attach it to the wall with a dollar store phone case. It's like one of my favorite finds ever. And you won't believe how difficult it was to find a black phone case at the dollar store. They were all like crazy colors. But it was really important to me to get a black one. Then we built the whole wall, the whole wall around the TV. That is in a video. You can go look up the Sisters Dollhouse TV room, and you can see how we put that whole area together. Those pictures on the wall, I got those from our Dover catalog. I love Dover saddlery. It's where I buy some of uh, Little Froggy's horse supplies. And recently their catalogs have been crazy insane with like gorgeous gorgeous photos and so I've been using them all over the dollhouse you can even see them in the living room area so if you go look at where Chloe's sitting you can see there's artwork all over the wall mainly horses and they're all they are all also from that catalog so when I set up this room for all of you to see I try to put some fun stuff all the way around see if you can find the Beauty and the Beast table with the bell jar and the rose does anybody see it I see it because I put it there but anyway look for that um, I just really love adding little fun details to our dollhouse. <laughs> I know it's silly, but it's fun. And if you look over at the window, there is somebody looking in the window. Someone, someone that um, is on Sophie's list. And trust me, you don't want to be on Sophie's list. And this person is on her list. It's an interesting character that we recently brought back after being gone for quite a while. And we changed her personality a little bit, but the way we changed her personality, I think, kind of flows because she was really nice before, and she's really nice on the surface now, so I think it kind of fits. So she's over there in the window, along with one of our awesome briar deer. I love briar horses, and when they start making the deer and like the cows, I was like super crazy. So I had to get one of those, and you can see that over there in the yard. Sophie is sitting there doing what she does best, <laughs> which is watching TV. If you look right next to her, you'll find her pizza that we recently made in our doll, um, what was that? That was food pillow video, where we also made the food for the doll. So it's a pillow that's also for the doll to use as food. And then behind Sophie is the dog. That is one of my absolute favorite dollhouse accessories, and that is a Sandy Cast dog. I can't remember which model it was, but it's by a company called Sandy Cast, and they make realistic looking dog figures in like three different sizes. There is the small size, the medium size, and then the life size size. So this is the small size that we use for the sisters uh, dollhouse, and for a lot of our photography, you'll see these Sandy Cast dogs all over the place. You can find some of them on Amazon and they have a website um, but I found it at a specialty dog boutique and that's where I got mine. And then if you look right in front of the dog he has his little chew toy there which is <laughs> which is the rabbit snowball from the secret life of pets. 
So we're pretending like it's a toy and not the actual rabbit, because then that would just be awful if the dog is chewing on a real rabbit. <laughs> and then as we as we look around the room, uh, I guess we'll go over to the couch and the ottoman poof. The, the pizza is sitting on the ottoman poof, and that was a really fun craft that you can look up that video. The couch is from our Sofa 2, I want to say it's our Sofa 2 video, and I'm thinking that we're going to change it though. I want to do a sectional couch to take up more space in this room because as you look around we do have a large amount of open space and a larger couch will help to break up that space and make slumber parties and movie night a little bit more fun. Up above the couch we have some shelves with some plants and some more horse pictures. Then right next to it, we took the table from our doll craft room video. It's like the work table in that video and the chair. And we use it as a desk in the sister's doll house. We actually have two of those desks in this house if you can find them. There's one right here and the other one is in the far back corner. And Sophie uses it for her video games because, you know, Sophie loves video games. Then we have the laptop. Um, yeah, the laptop on the t on the desk, and that was also in the video game room. And on top of the table, look who's there! You see that? That is Chip, the new Chip from the live-action movie Beauty and the Beast, which I love. I absolutely love. They have like <laughs> I have like two Beauty and the Beast Easter eggs <laughs> in this dollhouse right now. Um, I think there's only two. I only count two. Yeah. And so Chip is sitting there on the desk. So if you're on the computer surfing, the dolls have their cup of tea, which is in, which is Chip. <laughs> and I thought that was a cute little detail. Then we have the stairs that literally lead to nowhere. <laughs> the stairs go all the way upstairs to a floor of nothingness. On the other side of the stairs, we have a little nook, which we use for our little kind of like Harry Potter room kind of thing. Um, Sophie, Chloe, sorry, Chloe also goes in there to like escape from slow Sophie from time to time. That's pretty awesome. Then there's a little white cat. Do you see the little cat? The cat is super cute and that is also by Briar. I like the cat. It's all white. We don't really show the cat much on the Darby show or in the videos, but it was sitting on my dresser and or in the craft room and I was like, we just gotta throw it in there because it's interesting and it just you know, as little something extra to the room. The dad is sitting at our beach table. Uh, in a video a long time ago, we made the beach, I, want to, I think it was called the beach table and chairs. Beach house, beach house table and chairs. It is made completely of paperboard, like cereal boxes, cracker boxes, pasta boxes, pretty much anything that comes packaged in a thin box that's in the grocery store, you can use that, that's all paperboard. And we made that entire table out of paperboard. Then we painted it and we sanded it all kind of rough to make it look distressed. And it made an adorable little table that's really inexpensive. It does take a lot of time though. <laughs> it was a little time consuming to make all those cuts. But it is one of my favorite tables because of all of the texture. On top of the table we have a little uh, a bead with like some plants coming out of it and the plants are made out of paper. I love using beads for vases because they're super easy to paint. I usually paint them with like nail polish. You just put them like on a pencil or on a wooden dowel, paint it, let it dry, instant vase once you stick a plant in it. Um, behind the dad we have some pictures on the wall with little seashells and we incorporated the seashells into this room because in case you didn't know from the Darby show playing right now, <laughs> Sophie and Chloe turn into mermaids when they get wet. Just like from H2O. And uh, so you're gonna see little touches of ocean life or mermaid culture to represent the fact that Sophie and Chloe are mermaids when they, you know, get in water. I thought that was kind of fun. Then on the refrigerator, which is our working refrigerator that we originally made in our dog kitchen in a box, well, we totally took apart that entire kitchen and we made the new sister's dollhouse using a lot of the pieces from that video. And the refrigerator, I really didn't do anything to. I literally just cut it out of one box and glued it into another. And the refrigerator opens and on the very front of the refrigerator there is a little tiny picture. It looks like a little girl with a blue background 
that is Little Froggy. She painted that uh, when she was little. And I thought that was the sweetest thing ever. I use it in doll houses. I think it's even in our doll art studio or art classroom. But she actually made that little tiny picture. It, was, it wasn't little when she made it. It was a big picture. And then I shrunk it down and I use it in my doll houses because it just helps to bring us into our doll world. And I love seeing little bits of our personality here and there in the little world that we also create. We go into the kitchen, which I changed to all faux cabinets. I know, a lot of people were screaming when I did that. Uh, they loved the fact that the cabinets originally opened in the first kitchen. But I am, I like the faux cabinets better because they just stay organized. Um, they, they, the cabinets are always closed. I don't have a lot of gaps. It looks super clean and neat. Of course, make open cabinet doors all day long. That's why we made the video for the people who love the cabinets to open. And I totally understand that because you can store everything in there. But for me personally, I love faux cabinets. The refrigerator wouldn't even open if it was up to me. It would be a faux refrigerator, <laughs> which is, which is horrible. And sometimes we do show Sophie going into the fridge since it's there. But uh, faux cabinets, doors and all that, it just, for one, it makes the crafting faster. It looks great. You can get more intricate with some of the cuts. I mean, obviously you can do this with real drawers and cabinets if you wanted to, but it's going to take a lot longer. I think that original kitchen took me like five days. And that's a long time for me to be crafting on one project. Um, and that's because I focus on one project at a time and I go from start to finish a lot of times. Sometimes I do more than one at a time, depending on what it is, but that kitchen was like insane. After I made it, I was like, I don't even want to look at it anymore. <laughs> And it took me like a couple of weeks until I went back to that kitchen. I was like, oh, okay, you know, it's okay. But eventually I changed it. Eventually I changed it because I like white cabinets. And we used wood in the first one. And I wanted white cabinets, so I had to change it. The stove works. The stove does open and close. And there's a stove top. I mean, the oven opens and closes. And then there's a stove top. Um, and I, we put a lot of shelving above the kitchen. The, um, the counter so that we can have storage. So that's how we made up the fact that we got rid of a lot of the cabinets and drawers is that we have open shelving in the kitchen. And the Lori doll, the our generation Lori doll um, kitchen stuff that they make for their little dolls is perfect for our dollhouse. Like the colors seem like it was almost made for our dollhouse because everything is in like teal and stuff and it looks great. So those are the accessories that you see on the counter. A lot of them are from the Lori doll line um, from Target. We paid like $14.99 for it and you can see the unbox daily on our channel so you can get a closer look at everything that is there. And we put the mom in the kitchen cooking because she is a caterer. On the Darby Show, the mom loves to cook and she has a very successful business. And so we thought it was only fitting to have her in the kitchen because she's probably trying out new recipes and coming up with ideas to sell cupcakes for like $6 a piece. <laughs> you know, like those gourmet cupcakes that are like, why is this $7? It's because it was made by a true artist. So that's why. Um, as we start to leave the kitchen, you can see the little spice rack right above the cabinet. And that spice rack has real spices in it. I was like, you can't get more authentic than that than to use real things when you can. So we filled little tiny jars with real spices and it just looks really, really great. As you start to leave the kitchen, you can see uh, the game room. Yes, that is the gamer room that we made. And it doesn't exactly fit with the dollhouse because there's like a New York City window right there randomly on the wall. But we made that window from uh, actually being in New York. We were in, at, in New York two years ago at Toy Fair and I took that picture looking out the window at the hotel room. And so I love it because it brings back memories. So much of me and my life and my experiences are actually in my creations. I just, I just, I can't help it. I, I love to incorporate the things that I'm excited about into our doll world, including Sophie's gamer room where she's playing her favorite little show, um, her favorite game, My Mini Mixie Q's 
inspired something. I think we, I don't remember what we even named it, <laughs> but she loves it. Teeny Tiny Cutesies? No, that was all Loopsies. I don't know. I gotta go back and revisit my own show to figure out what I named it. <laughs> that happens like all the time. Um, but you can also see on the shelves some of her toy collection. And she's collecting mini space pop figures. So I thought that was pretty cool. As you start to leave the game room, you see the egg chair. And that is holding up nicely. We made it with yarn and glue. There is an awesome video on it to, to make the hanging egg chair. And it's just so cute. It takes great photos, especially by a real window with natural light. Then we have the unicorn watercolor paintings, which I saw on Pinterest and I was in love with. And I was like, how can we make these smaller to fit in the dollhouse? And on top of the dresser, there is our record player, if you can see that. And then on the floor, there are some art supplies down there, like some watercolors and stuff. You can tell Sophie's been over there painting unicorns, or maybe Chloe's been over there working on her art, because Chloe does art. Um, and that's our dollhouse so far. So one thing that's really cool about the sister's dollhouse is that the walls and all the separate rooms, they move around. So we can rearrange it according to how we want the house to look. And that's a lot of fun. It's also another reason why it was too big to fit on my craft table to show you in my office. <laughs> but we hope you enjoyed looking around our sister's dollhouse and we do have a lot of work left to do on this. We still have to do um, an upstairs, a bathroom, possibly uh, the mom's room, so maybe a game room. I don't know what's in store. It's kind of like an ongoing huge project. Eventually it'll take up my entire living room. I'm sure it will. I'm excited to see where it goes from here and we hope you enjoyed, enjoyed our little tour around the sister's dollhouse. So Comment below what you like and what you'd like to see us to add on, and we will love to hear from you. Okay, see you next time. Bye!